Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So Diwali is just on the way and I thought I should film an outfit video for Diwali. So here I am back with a new video for you guys in which I'll show you 10 different outfits that you can try on this Diwali. So if you're new to this channel, please make sure that you subscribe and hit the red bell button right next to it so that you get all the notifications whenever I upload any new video. Now these outfits will be based on your mood and personality so there will be the basic version of an outfit and there will be a not so basic or a more stylish version of that same outfit. So you can pick any of that style according to your personality and choice. So for the first outfit I picked this plain white kurta with a basic white palazzo and here I have paired it with a tight chiffon dupatta which adds a hint of colour in this plain white outfit. I have kept this look very subtle. White always look beautiful if you style it right. So here I have paired it with a silver earring and that's it. This look is for those who like their outfits to be very minimal and sober. For the next look, I have again paired the same white kutta with white palazzo and I have added a printed shrug keeping it very minimal again but the whole look is incomplete without some jewelries. So here I have paired a silver jump neck piece with it and a silver earring and the whole look turned out to be a casual yet festive one. This is for people who likes to experiment. I really like this whole look. I think it looks very classy and chic. Next outfit is for those who like wearing casual outfits, for those I have one solution, that is go for fusion outfits. Now you can see I have worn a simple kurta with a jeans just like most women prefer. But you see it's not looking very festive for Diwali occasion. So that's why I have changed this outfit a bit. I have paired this crop top with some printed pant and to give it a more fusion look I have paired the same printed jacket from the previous outfit and look how beautiful it turned out. And now to complete this whole look I have added a few jewelries, the silver ones and here is the final look. This is a more put together look than the previous one and I love it. The next outfit is very fresh and lively and very feminine. I love this kind of outfit and it really brings out the festive vibes. Just pair your favorite suit or favorite kurta with a dupatta and you're good to go. If you are someone who likes Indian wear, especially kurtas that are comfortable and beautiful, this outfit is just for you. Print on print is very much in trend right now so this kurta and plazo in same print looks absolutely gorgeous and if you pair it up with a solid color dupatta it will even accentuate your look. For the next look I picked the same outfit the same kurta and the plazo and this time I paired a pink net jacket on top of it and also I tied a belt around my waist. You can also layer neck pieces with this look like I have here. I love silver jewellery so I went a little overboard with the jewelries here and look how boho and relaxed this whole outfit is looking. It looks so effortlessly beautiful and hence these outfits are the last minute Diwali outfits you can totally go with. Okay, for the next look, I picked a very gorgeous fuchsia pink skirt or lehenga and paired it with a beautiful grey blouse. Now, I am not adding a dupatta with this outfit because it will look very dressy for the Diwali occasion. 
but you can totally go for a Banarasi dupatta if you like that kind of a look. Now because this outfit is already looking very gorgeous, I kept the accessories very minimal. I only have added a pair of jhumka and that's it. I really love this whole look so much. I think this is a perfect outfit for the Diwali night. You can carry a clutch with it and you'll stand out in the crowd. This next outfit is my personal favorite. If you like sporty outfits but you also can't just ignore the festive vibe, then this outfit is just for you. Here I have worn the same skirt and this time I replaced the blouse with a black slogan t-shirt. This just gives you a very casual yet festive look. Now you can carry this outfit like this itself but I have put a denim jacket around my shoulder for a more sporty and edgy look. And that's not all guys. I have paired a mang tikka with it and it looks so out there and quirky. Personally, I would love to dress up like this. So I would definitely recommend if you up your dressing game like this. For the next outfit, I had to include a sari because the festive season is incomplete without sari. So here I have worn a Georgette sari and I paired it with the same blouse I wore with the skirt. This is a basic sari look and I'm sure you all have tried this look so it's not a big deal. But the trick is to keep it simple yet classy. So I have paired only a jhumka with this outfit and it looks gorgeously beautiful. Now if you like to experiment a little more, then this outfit is something you should definitely give a try. So for this look, I wore a spaghetti crop top inside and then I wore a shirt on top of it. Now I had a white embellished shirt, so I wore this one. But you can totally wear any kind of shirt, white, black or any colored. But make sure it goes with the sari. Now I'm tying this shirt at the side of my waist, not in the front. This looks more classy. And I also paired a golden choker with this outfit and it looks more put together and chic. I suggest you don't wear a heavy earring with this outfit or even if you wear, try wearing a small stud or something like that because the whole attention of this outfit should be on your blouse and how you styled it not on your jewelries. So these were the 10 Diwali outfits you can totally try on this Diwali. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below and let me know which was your favorite outfit from this video. Bye for now and stay tuned.